I'm Drew Wagner here with XAircraft America. Today we're going to talk about setting up and unboxing the Stella Gimbal. Uh, we're going to install it on the 650 Pro and uh, show you kind of what you need to do to get it set up. So uh, when you first get it, pop the box open. Um, you'll notice we've got some really nice packaging with this. Um, you've got your uh, Stella user manual um, that will show you kind of all the pieces included with it. Um, and it'll also give you a quick installation guide. Uh, if this in quick installation guide is not enough to help you get started with this, we also have a full download available on the Stella product page on the website. So inside the box, um, you have your gimbal, which is right here, and you also have the components. So in here you have the uh, two mounting plates, your dampeners, your servo leads, as well as the uh, rail hangers that'll help you be able to put it up on a 650. So there are four different ports on the Stella. Uh, you have the P, which will control your pitch if you're not using an S-Bus connection, um, and that only will control the gimbal pitching forward and backwards. You just plug this P directly into your receiver. If you're using S-Bus, however, and I've seen conf some confusion on how this works, what you actually want to do is run, there's an included Y cable with the Stella. So with that, the end of the Y cable needs to plug into the S-Bus port on your receiver. You then run one end into your Stella S-Bus port, and then this end would go into the X port on your Super X, which would take channels 1 to 7, and then this one would take channels 8 through 11. Um, channel 8 controls your pitch. Channel 9 controls your roll. Channel 10 will control your mode, whether rate mode or position mode. And channel 11 will control the automatic 90 degree down function. So if you plug that onto a two-way switch, um, it'll work just great. Um, the, uh, the final thing here is the uh, video and power. So the video cable, this will plug directly into our OSD video in. Um, if you do not have the OSD or don't want to use it, you can just cut the end of this off and use the white wire inside for video and the black wire for ground. Um, and then finally is the battery port. You can use anything from a 6S to a 3S battery for this um, Stella, but for best results and what I've been using uh, is to use a UBEC to give it constant 12 volt power. I've just seen uh, better results when doing that, so uh, it's up to you how you want to run it. It'll run fine either way. It's got a voltage regulator built in. Um, everything should be good. But um, when you have the Stella fully assembled, this is what it should look like. Um, it uses a compression style mounting system so that uh, when it's in flight, you're not going to have any chance of it falling off. Um, one thing to keep in mind is when you're mounting this to make sure that you don't have the uh, mount skeltered off in any direction because anything like that movement wise will uh, affect its dampening ability. I have the Stella hooked up on my 650. I've got my battery being powered by the UBEC. I've got my video running to my OSD. I've got my S bus running to both my uh, S bus uh, receiver and my IO. And we'll power it on and I'll show you how it all should work when it's all set up. Um, one thing that's very important is when it's initializing to not have any vibration. So just give it a minute here and while we're doing that, I will power on my video camera and my radio. So on the 8FG, I have uh, mapped it out so that my right slider controls my pitch up and down. And right now it is in position mode, so wherever I move it to, that's where it goes. Um, up here I have this mapped out so that it'll change from to rate mode, which means as far away as I have it from center, it'll move faster or slower. Um, and also I have my left slider set to control the roll. So with that, if you get gets a little off center or anything like that, you can control how it sets up. And that works in both modes. So again, channel 8 is your pitch, channel 9 is your roll, channel 10 is to control your control mode, and channel 11 will do this 90 degree pitch. When I flip that, it'll automatically switch it down to 90 degrees. When you switch it back, it'll go back up to normal. I'm going to show you how to program the uh, 8FG to control the Stella and also this, I guess, would be the kind of Super X as well. So you're going to go into your function menu on the bottom. And so one through four should be your controls for your uh, Super X uh, throttle, yaw, pitch, whatnot. Um, channel five, that's our flight mode, so I have that to SG on my top right. Channel six, that is going to be our uh, safe mode, and that is on our back switch up here. Channel seven is our gain, I have it set to a knob. 
Now these are going starting with the Stella channels here. So channel 8 um, RS is our right slider. So to select one of these, you just click on it, and it'll have all the different options right here. Um, your manual will have exactly what all these are. But So RS for 8, uh, the left slider for 9, channel 10 I have to SD, the top right one right here. And channel 11 I have um, to SC, which is going to be the 90 degree pitch on the, this long switch here. Um, when you first have this radio, it's going to have channels 9 through 12 all be the same thing. If you want to change that, you actually need to change this aux button up here. So to do that, you just click on the aux and click again. And just move this function menu. And what that will do is it will go in and you just need to go down until you have an open auxiliary channel. Select the one you want and that will now be that auxiliary number. That's all there is to it.